Hey, what's up? Don't click away. Today we're going to be doing a full teardown on a Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. Hey, welcome back to another teardown video. If this is your first time here, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smack the bell so you're notified on our latest videos. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to reach us at www.mrphonedoctor.com or simply email us repairs at mrphonedoctor.com. If you guys have social media, please make sure to check out any of our social media platforms found below. Let's go ahead and begin tearing this bad boy down. So we're gonna go ahead and set it here. I already have it up to temperature, which is 90 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and let this heat up for a few minutes and I'll cut back and we'll go ahead and pick up with the teardown. Okay, the phone is nice and toasty. Let's go ahead and begin removing this back glass or actually I should say plastic. It kind of feels like plastic. I'm not sure, but we'll figure out exactly what it is. It does sound a little uh, finicky. So that may be one of the uh, cost factors in this device is they might have used cheaper components and if you guys are wondering what we're using um, I did make a list description in my last s20 ultra video. I'll link uh, I'll leave a link up above so you guys can take a look at that Okay, so we first want to start off by finding a nice insertion point and Let me see I'm in that easy guys And I make it look easy. I've done a lot of these phones so you know, I mean, with time, you do get faster removing all these back panels and everything. So, yep, and it is plastic. See that? And they're actually doing this on even the Note 20s, I've heard. So, I don't know why they're doing that, but maybe it's better. You know, I mean, you guys won't have any issues with these breaking. All right, so here we go. We have the back plastic panel, I should say, removed. I'm going to go ahead and clean all this glue around the edges that is on here. That way, whenever we do reassemble it, we can actually have it nice and flush. All right, so I like to use this rotary tool here. This actually just helps spin all this glue and everything off very quickly. That way you're not here struggling with any kind of rags or anything like that. So roll it and you can see how all this glue just comes right off. See that? Look at all this glue. Got a lot of glue here. All right, so there we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up this QI charger. So it looks like it does have a QI wireless pad. All right, so we have that removed. Let's go ahead and remove the phone from the heating plate. And we'll begin removing all the screws that are on here. Now, don't forget, guys, let's go ahead and remove the SIM. And I did bring my SIM tray this time. And there we go. So if you look, here's the SIM tray. It looks like it supports a SIM card and an SD card. So it's kind of cool. They're actually making these double-sided. Normally, they be extended and you would have a SD slot and a SIM slot together but here it looks like uh, you just flip it over for your SIM and then you have your SD right here. So let's go ahead and begin removing the screws that are holding down the back plate. And these seem pretty tight so I'm going to manually remove them first. Alright so it looks like all these are out. Let's go ahead and remove the back plates and should be good. All right, so we got the lower back plate here. This one holds, uh, covers the charging port. And let's go for this upper one here. Looks like this one got cross threaded. When they put it in, they put it in at an angle and it's not right.
All right, we were able to get that strip screw out and I just wanna show you guys the back of this phone, how you can see how the quality on this is a lot less than what the S20 Ultra is. You can see all these cables running from the charging port to the actual logic board up on top here. Um, on the S20 Ultra, it does have flex cables. So the flex cables actually run you know, in different areas. So that's one way they were able to cut out the cost. And uh, of course, components and everything. I'm, as I'm looking inside, a lot of the insides, they feel plastic versus where the Ultra's uh, aluminum. So that's gonna be one key, big key factor on how they were able to cut down and shave some dollars, which is nice. You know, it's nice to have a nice S20 um, Galaxy uh, as a fan edition and a budget price phone. So that's, that's good. Thanks for Samsung for that. Um, let's go ahead and uh, start removing these boards and all the little smaller components out of here. We already disconnected the power, so we can go ahead and remove this flex here. This one actually sends power from down here up on top. Helps charge this little battery that's on here. Uh, it does look like these cables do lift up, so we can remove these. Perfect. And there's a flex here for the camera. Another flex for this front camera. So, ooh, that's something different. Look at that. Look how easy this front camera came out. Really, really simple. Versus on the other 20, 20 plus ultras, they're glued in. Um, there's gonna be a, another Phillips head here holding down the board. So let's go ahead and remove this one. And this is gonna be, they're all the same size, that's good. We'll just set these in a pile. Let's go ahead and lift this up. And there's another camera here. Right, there we are, look at how thin this board is. Here's the S20 FE board. And this one, the cameras and everything all just came right out. Look at that, but yeah, I can tell how Samsung did take some shortcuts on these. Quality on these and everything do feel a little inferior than the Ultra and the Plus versions. And it looks like, what is this here? There's like a little flex attached to something right here. I'm curious as to what this is. That might be the fingerprint sensor. I bet you it is a fingerprint sensor. If you notice, you can see right here, it's attached by this flex. Either that's the fingerprint sensor or this flex ribbon here running. Actually, this is probably gonna be the, the display. This is gonna be the AMOLED display. Normally you have the flex cable running up on top here for the AMOLED display, but this one doesn't have it. This one's all down here which I'm sure I'll be able to find out later on in my full teardown, I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, do a glass replacement. So we'll replace the glass on this. Interested to see how we're gonna get this out. I'm just observing everything. But let's go ahead and just go ahead and remove this final battery here. Once we get that out, we'll be able to open up and see exactly our entrance point that we're gonna be getting in on this S20 FE. So let's set this aside and let's go ahead and heat up. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the phone so we can remove the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and cut and we'll cut back as soon as the phone gets nice and toasty. All right, phone's nice and toasty. I'm gonna to put some of this solution down here on the bottom and on the edge. Just helps soften everything up and uh, make this battery removal a lot easier. All right, so here is the insides of the S20 FE. You can see it entirely. You can see the frame assembly, and this is the actual OLED flex cable. So it's kind of strange that it attaches down here to the bottom. Normally I see these being attached up on top to the top logic area. So it looks like the charging port does come out as well. So if you did want to replace the charging port area right here, you can go ahead and uh, remove these by simply 
unfastening this screw here. And I'm still curious as to what this little guy is right here. I think this might be the fingerprint sensor. But let's, uh, let's open this up and let's try to get that piece removed. There. Looks like it just came right out. The heat probably helped dissolve this adhesive. But here's that little sensor. See that? That might be a fingerprint sensor, if I'm not mistaken. I've never seen a fingerprint sensor like this here. But that's it. I'm sure it's got right here in the middle of the screen. Right there. So you would actually put your finger right here. And boom, this sensor would actually pick up right here. So yeah, that's pretty much my teardown video, guys. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to be giving an attempt and replacing the glass on this. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. And leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I do have some other videos coming up in the works. S20 Ultra Glass, 20 Plus Glass, all those. And of course, we're going to be coming out with some more uh, machine unboxings and all that stuff. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.